Hi, and welcome to Unworthy. This game advertises itself as a Metroidvania without jumping, which I have no idea what that's supposed to, how that's supposed to work. And it is also commonly referred to as a Souls-like, so uh, I have no idea how this will play out, but I want to try it out. Uh, how did you shop off your head? Do you hear it? Of course you don't. It is a broken bell. It cannot ring. You always seem to struggle. Perhaps you should struggle to be heard. But in the end, you're just a broken bell. Oh, so they're going for the Dark Souls bell thing, but it's a mute bell. The truth is cruel. The bell wants a hole. Broken by this wretched world. The bell rings never more. And that's how we got freed. Okay, left stick to move around, right stick does nothing. Left bumper. Left trigger is a roll, okay. Right bumper, right trigger. Okay, right trigger is a sort of attack. The same as X. And we have A, which is normally jump, it's roll here. Okay, B is use item as it seems, but I can't use an item because that's a Estus flask and we have full health. And then we have Y, which does nothing. Okay, D-pad also doesn't uh, change uh, anything. Okay. Okay, that's a foreground element. Hey, you two-day games, you need to be more elaborate about what I can do and what I can't do. Ah, oh, we get sin by uh, destroying these, which is the currency in the upper right corner. Okay. Hold up to move up. Pretty easy so far. Oh, there's something weird going on up there. Okay, we are now supposed to learn about roll. Are we supposed to die here? No, we didn't take damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We don't have a jump, so uh, uh, we have two roll gaps. Okay, we have a three hit combo. Where the third hit is the hardest one, so I can start the combo before going to them, I assume. Which button to use? To use... Not that one. Definitely not that one. Not that one. Ah, uh, down to activate. Ah, okay. I think that's a contextual prompt, uh, prompt that will only appear if we, if we are somewhere without... Ah, okay. We can't even leave the elevator. Oh. Not a breakable wall. Can't even leave the elevator because we can't jump. Okay.
Okay, it works like I, I thought it would. Okay. Okay, we have like secret wars which we can just go into. Yeah, that looked like a secret. And we found a Kaz rune. Okay. That's the right menu button. Okay, the normal menu button. Items, relics, grimoire. We have the Shanes of Lament as a weapon. Wait. Shanes used to torment prisoners of the Eternal Realm. We also have runes down here. It was a rune we found. Increases e XP gain by 5%. Okay. The Grimoire says, A wanderer, a body drained of soul is said to be without purpose. In truth, it is an empty vessel, a home for something else. That's all we have. Okay, we'll maybe able to uh, cycle through it. We have no, no relics. To soul flame essence. Restores 40 hit points over 2 seconds. A single drop will ignite the soul. We have 80 health, it restores half of our health. Double secret? Not here. Oh! Are we supposed to go up there? There's no jumping in this game. So we'll get a mechanic which lets us catapult of enemies, like Ori's Bash, maybe? Now I have to check every wall for secrets. I assume we're done with the tutorial area. My child. The world is cruel. The world is selfish. It will try to break you. It so desperately breaks itself. It will pervert truths. But will nurture lies. It will share its pains. But will hoard its pleasures. My child. The word is broken. Uh, and now we are... Why do we have a different weapon here at the Boneyard? It's not like we came up here recently. Okay, now we have a different weapon, so let's look at that. We still have the rune. Sword and shield used by common knights periodically provides protection against incoming attacks. Oh, it's a passive? Oh god. Why would you do that? Oh, we have, we have a level system. Okay. So we don't only get sin, but also, also uh, get XP. Awoken, have you, little lamb? Come to join the flock, have you? Many have marched a path before you, little lamp. Many have perished. Th through filth you are blessed with life. Such a gift should not be squandered. You will embrace life, you will march, and you will answer call, for such is the lamp's path. Answer the call. Don't stray too far from the flock, little lamb. A wolf in shepherd's clothes is but a clever wolf. Can't attack him. Can't take the eggs. And we get new grimoire entries and rotting flesh. Albert. When existence itself is threatened, those that are able to take up arms do the most frightened tend to grab the longest weapon they can. And Crossbow, those whose hearts were stricken with the most debilitating fear found comfort in ranged weaponry. Safety and distance is a luxury not afforded to all. No relics? 
restores 10 hit points. The rotting uh, flesh probably doesn't taste like chicken. That's a, and then an equip one. That's a use one. So we have to use it from this. Oh. I assume he came from the other side. We leveled up. Uh, which gave us more, two more health, one more stamina, and I don't know what it did to damage and armor. Uh, wait, I need to adjust my headphones, I think. Aha, there's no music. I'm using, like, uh, uh, ra uh, radio frequency type wireless headphones and they sometimes just misalign by themselves and I'm not hearing anything. Uh, let's go into the menu and use the item. Uh, this one doesn't respawn. Huh? Whatever, let's eat that flesh. Doesn't seem like we're getting problems out of eating rotten flesh. And we get a bone dart, which is an item that uh, a throwing dart fashioned, uh, fashioned from bone can carry up to 15 at one time. Select equip slot 2. How do we cycle the, uh, the things? Right bumper, left bumper. Left bumper, okay. Another weary uh, spawn of filth. You will crumble under the weight of your ambitions soon enough. It will plague your thoughts and it will twist you and eventually it will deform you. You will chase after something and remain forever out of reach. Time will pass and eventually you will come to accept. You are nothing. This reality will break you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we get a sinner's heart. A sinner's heart is a youthful heart, grants a single atonement. It grants a single atonement. I have no idea what atonement is. So that's like a dual system with the uh, currencies. Like sometimes, some games sometimes have. This is a bonfire. Game saved. Oh, we need to manually save at bonfires. Okay. So we can go now go right. Which allows us to go further. But let's look what's down there. I don't like branching paths that early. The throat of despair. Can't go off this yet. This looks ominous. Is this a stream? Screen transition? Okay, I hope it's uh, it's just there the first time. Catacombs of Ur. If it stays that dark, I'm going up again. I'm going up again. Nah, <laughs> I'm not going in blind without being able to see enemies. No, 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 no. It's getting better here. Okay. So let's start by going to the right then. And back to the boneyard. They didn't respawn by going to another uh, zone, which is uh, not always true for...
more a sinner's memory. Uh, that's Heart Souls. Grants minor sin, yeah. Heart Souls in means of... Oh god, I didn't see you. Which leveled us up and gave us... Uh, Gave us uh, full health back. Okay, there's stuff we can break. And then we can rebrand it here. Still have nothing to do with our sin. Map parchment, an old piece of cartography parchment. Press control or select to view visited locations. Uh huh. Okay, as generic as uh, as a map gets. So these are called kilns. We are in the room that's slightly other colored than the rest, and there are, there will be bosses in this game, of course. <clears throat> the Forgotten Paths. Do we have different... Okay, the... the I had to check whether they did the... Uh, the uh, Hollow Knight thing about... Up on and down attacks being different. Okay, damage and armor get also increased by leveling up. Good. Only one direction to go in. You look like an NPC. There was a time when I would return Earth's property to her. That time is no more. Foolish and arrogant, we betrayed nurturing embrace. We burned her daughter and watched her roll over mother's flesh. We watched her suffer to extinguish our doings. Look at us now, slaves to our own insatiable aspirations. We did not know. Huh. Nothing more to say? Sometimes I wonder if the flames can ever be extinguished. Perhaps it is the circle that must be ended. Okay. Boss. Ah, that's a kiln that he guards. Okay, we cannot go back because a mysterious wall appears. Sweth, devourer. Oh god, devourer of light. I wanted to roll through you. Oh god. Okay, the AoE was strong on that one. Okay. So let's learn how the system works. Okay, we lost all our sin. But everything else uh, we have, we still have. Yeah. Don't know what atonement is. Do we have to do this again? Mm. Okay, it's quite an annoying walk back. There was a weird sign again, which I uh, uh, thought was the level up the last time. Take to the cradle of death. Pay heed to those you address. Not all are as forgiving as ill men at wanderers. Okay, I'm using one of those flasks to be full health when going into the fight this time. Okay. Sin returned. Oh, okay.
Okay. I was in far enough away. Oh god. Okay, we need to have to do this return again. I'm still too greedy. My fault. I have to get more more used to the animation timing and stuff. I like it more when they have a uh, better return with. And don't don't do the Dark Souls one thing of uh That's an eternity way to go there. Okay, we have one more thing now. I don't know what that is. Ah, that's my block returning. That's my block returning. Okay, don't have... He has a ranged attack. Ah, there's no contact damage. Okay, this will take a few attempts. From now on, I'll cut the way back to the boss. I also now notice the icon in the upper left corner. That's my shield icon slowly filling up again. And when it fills up, I get the jingle. was faster. What? Okay, new attack. <laughs> okay, that surprised me. We can just walk through him when he does that. Ah. B isn't roll. And we are unworthy. What a roadblock of a first boss, at least for me.
Okay, my best attempt so far was in the attempt where I squandered all of my healing items on the way here. Great. I'm becoming more methodical about my attempts. Is it possible to grind up to the maximum level <laughs> at this first boss? <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. He gets new attacks. Wow. Wow. As he sees that I'm fit enough to beat him, he adds a new attack to the pile. Filth cleansed. We get a new grimoire entry. And a council lantern. A ceremonial lantern given to council fathers. Hold down attack while weeding a sword to perform a powerful lead attack. Leap attack. And we can brand ourselves here. Which saves our game. Sweat. Devourer of Light. Sweat, or the Fallen Father, was the first and only council member to have ascended, banished, and then Sweat became a parasite devourer of the light he once swore to serve. A ceremonial lantern given to the council fathers. The bearer may perceive light. Ah, oh, well, that gives us light if we go down there. What else do we have? Uh, by the way, I used up my bone dart by accidentally using it because I switched to it because I wanted to try it in the boss fight and then I used it on the way because I wanted to heal. So not good. We also have this one which gives us an atonement, which I just want to use. But I don't know what it's doing yet. Can we use it here? No. Can we see? Do, do you have something to tell us now that we defeated the guy? Pay heed to those you address. Okay, we have that. That's not the trigger that does the thing. Ah, uh, wait. Where would we have the... May perceive light, but it didn't say... It doesn't say the other one. It just gave us one prompt that holding X does this. Okay. 
Okay, there's nothing over to that side, so... This is our time to return to the shrine that was before this, that was right at the other elevator. Maybe we'll find another NPC now. Oh, we die down here because I still haven't learned how to fight these fuckers. Especially when I'm low on... Uh, <laughs> When I'm low on stamina, I was pretty certain I was left of you when you hit me. But whatever. <sighs> Wanna do the roll, but just the other thing, because this game does it other way around than other games. Hmm. Hence. Get used to one game's control scheme, and then you're playing another game and nothing makes sense anymore. So, how far? Okay, let's go to the next bonfire still in this episode. Ah, there were these stupid fuckers that have no reason to exist but to stop you in your path. They should stay dead after you hit them once. Two of them. And this is the elevator we will go down in the next episode. Because that leads to the dark zone where we needed the lamp. So, that was our first impression of Unworthy. I'm interested to find out what Atonement did. I... Why is there 30... 13 deaths? Okay, that's not so much as I, I thought I had died more times than 13 times. Because uh, it felt that way because the uh, way to the boss was so fucking long. But, okay. Um, atonement is nowhere on the screen, so I assume we won't lose it. We just go to one permanent atonement, whatever that is. And I want to have uh, to find something to do with all those 4,000 sin. But all that has to wait till the next episode. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.